So we've accomplished a lot in this first unit. We've learned about uh, the motion menu. We've learned about bits and pieces of costuming and sizing from the looks menu. We've played with the green flag to start an action uh, to, and do our places everybody in action in our program. And we've played with both the wait and the repeat block in order to uh, add some, some control over how our code looks together. And we looked at a number of individual small animations. What I would like you to do for your homework assignment for this particular unit now to wrap this all up is to create a longer animation than any of the pieces that we've done. And so while there's a written explanation of the homework here on the website, I want to actually say a few things aloud and let you see what I'm talking about in that written assignment. What I would like you to do is just put together an animation for your sprite of multiple uh, things. And so let me show you. Here's a, here's a potential solution for this particular homework assignment. I want you to have at least three animations. And so here we have the cat move across the screen from left to right. I have the cat then turn and walk kind of up screen and away from me at the same time and then come back down and so that's one, two, three animations and my fourth animation is having him tumble across the screen and get bigger as he goes, right? And the idea should be that every time I click and run this program that the cat should do that series of animations and that no matter what happens, even if I stop it in the middle and I rerun it, he should always do his places everybody properly. That's one of the things I'm going to look for when I look at your homework assignment and that you should look for it when you look at other people's assignments. Suppose I stop right now and I restart. Here's a places everybody that wasn't done properly. This cat didn't reset to 100%. And so in fact, he gets really super tiny because it didn't reset properly. Right? You can hardly, probably not even see it in the video. The idea, though, is places everybody should include everything. Size, direction, location. Uh, so you want to make sure you have a proper places, everybody, that you string together at least three animations on your cat. And you kind of just explore putting together bits and pieces into a bigger picture. Um, you are free to use any sprite that you'd want. It does not need to be the cat. You can go into the to the menu system and pick up a different sp scratch sprite, or you can upload something of your own and play with that. Um, you are welcome to play with some of the menu items beyond what we looked at, but all I'm going to require is that you play with the motion menus, some of the looks materials, and the few blocks under events and control to put together this multi-step animation. I look forward to seeing what you're going to come up with. If you have any questions, please reach out to me and we'll talk about them.